Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. Today, I have a, uh, a feature phone to check out. It's uh, It's been something I've been wanting to do, and I've got a couple uh, of feature phone reviews coming up, and this is, uh, this is one of them that I'm going to be covering. This is the new uh, Nokia 7510 from T-Mobile. Um, pretty standard feature phone, but uh, built quite nicely as I'll walk around through here. It has a couple of, uh, couple of different features. Um, so just looking on the front, this is the uh, the brown face plate, and uh, just so you know, there's also a uh, kind of a green aquamarine face plate, green turquoise, I guess, and a kind of a red one. And one thing you can see in this face plate, as you can see right here, with my finger behind it, is uh, the this is the face plate that goes on the front display. There's actually a, a bit of a see-through uh, piece in the middle there, and uh, if I open this up and then uh, and then close it again. You can see a little bit of light backlighting behind there. Unfortunately, this one is actually uh, actually cracked uh, in chipping, and so you can't see the full lighting effect in there. But it's kind of a unique, uh, unique little thing that has a protected uh, front display that shines through the cover itself. So these covers are removable, both the back here and the front, and they are soft touch material, which is really nice material for uh, getting a good grip. This device actually has some heft to it. It's uh, it's 4.4 ounces. Uh, in a fairly compact form factor, but it just feels uh, it feels like it's well built, pretty stout. And uh, this up here is, a, is like a stainless steel metal. It's really a nice, uh, solid feeling uh, feeling device. Uh, this let's just walk around the hardware, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it as well. So this is a clamshell phone that I'll get to in a second. Um, on this right side, there's a two and a half millimeter headset jack, the volume control up and down. And this is a button for the hinge that I'll show you how it releases here in a minute. Walking around the back, you see there's a speakerphone down at the bottom and a little uh, lanyard opening there on the hinge. And then over here is the standard uh, small Nokia charging port and a micro USB um, port as well for connecting to your computer and transferring music and, and uh, videos and things like that to the device. And on the front, we have the uh, two megapixel camera with a flash up here. So uh, there's a couple ways to open it. You can just physically lift it up, and there's the hinge, and as you can see, it's spring loaded. So as you lift it part way, it, it swings the rest away. You can also come over here, and if you uh, if you push on the button, it also releases it as well. And then as you can see here, these buttons are extra, uh, very well spaced. They are uh, they are metal. Um, shiny chrome finish. Uh, they are pretty flat and flush, so it is kind of hard to differentiate between the keys, but they are well spaced as you can see there. Nice big directional pad, send and end key, and then the two soft keys here. And then we go up to the display. As you can see, this is a My Faves phone with T Mobile. Also, what you might be able to see, let's go up in the corner. Oh, I lost the screen. Let's go up in the upper corner there. Let's see if you can see it or not with the camera reflection. But this is a UMA phone, so that's something that's uh, that's kind of unique to it. Um, there are now several uh, phones that work with the T-Mobile UMA hotspot calling. So if you're in a zone like right now, I've got my Wi-Fi hotspot up there. Uh, I can make unlimited calls if I have that uh, activated service on my plan. Unlimited calls with uh, within a Wi-Fi hot zone that aren't charged to my minutes. So that's a great uh, great feature for this phone. So let's just kind of let me go down here. Let me turn off the light so we can see the, uh, the software. As you can see, here's the My Fave screen, and there's also a T Zone shortcut. So if I just hit OK or uh, Menu, we go in here to this interface, and let me just pause it for a second while I turn off the other. Light. Okay, hopefully this will show up. So we've got uh, kind of a, the menu system here. Let me just get on the directional pad. Menu system here. You can see it's people messaging, media, settings, organizer, call history, and then back to people. If I was to select people, you can see we've got our phone book, one touch dialing, it's managing your contacts pretty much. Okay, let's jump back, let's go to messaging. Here uh, we've got inbox, email, instant messaging, and if I go to email, I'll just show you if I say add account as you can see there's quite a few clients supported AIM, AOL, Yahoo Mail, Comcast, CompuServe, Gmail and so on and so on 
And then let's just bounce down here to instant messaging. And you can see here, this is uh, using different service. I believe it's probably the Oz service where it uses your text messaging for your instant messaging with AOL, ICQ, and Windows Live, and Yahoo Instant Messenger. So that's kind of a nice feature to have as well. And then if we uh, bounce over to media, you can see here T-Zones, the camera, the gallery, the video recorder, so the camera does capture video as well. Uh, the media player, some games that are on the device, and radio. This has an FM radio. You will need the antenna, of course, to uh, use it. Voice recorder, audio settings. Let me just jump into media player here. Let's see. I don't know if there's any songs. It's warm butter sliding down hot oh. Well, that's what it's like when I see store. So there's a movie, uh, I guess it's a, uh, a preview there that shows. And you can also watch it in landscape mode. Jump over to settings. You can see there's my faves, the Wi-Fi settings, your count, some profiles, that kind of thing. And your calendar and your organizer. There's the calendar alarm to-do list, that kind of thing and your call history. So as you can see, this is a fairly typical feature phone. Um, oh, let me just show you the backlighting as well, as long as we're in the dark here. As you can see, the, this kind of shows you how well spaced the keys are. And let me see if I, yeah, this broken screen really doesn't help you out. And you can kind of see there's the time and there's other things that show up in there, um, but uh, we can't see them at this time. So this is the, uh, Nokia 7510. It's uh, on T-Mobile right now, or coming soon, and I'm not exactly sure the price. It's a quad-band GSM phone with the UMA Wi-Fi feature. It feels very, again, I have to just say, it just feels very solid. If you're looking for a feature phone, it is a pretty nice feature phone. Also, with, uh, with Bluetooth, of course, you can uh, connect to your headset.